Hey guys, don't get excited. It's not Ryan Gosling Jr. It's me, Michael Perez. Um, this video is mostly for mom and dad. Uh, I haven't been able to talk to them. Uh, every time I see them, I kind of lose it on uh, FaceTime. So I thought I'd do it this way. Hopefully this works out better. Um, I love you guys. And this is to all of you. This isn't just to mom and dad. I love you guys. I know I'm difficult. <sighs> Anyways, um, Dad, the one thing that I wanted to talk to you about or tell you was, and I wrote it down a little bit, but I just wanted to explain. You came here uh, to Vegas, you, me, and Mom, we end up going to Walmart, and I think it it was before your it was before you started uh, dialysis. I had already started, um, you know, I, I was in the process of starting the dog sitting, and um, so you, I guess, oh, um, like uh, Marlene was there in California when when we first talked about it. So she was asking me, well. Uh, she doesn't think this is legal or whatever. It turns out that now Rover is the biggest dog sitting community in the world. But anyways, uh, the thing was, you, we were sitting there, and because I was still doing photography, you asked me, "What is it that I want to do?" I mean, I had very, I, I, and I still do. I still have very limited options, and I said, "I've always liked dogs," and I remember even I forget Marlene's dog that got loose one day when they were living in Virginia and nobody wanted to chase it, so I sat outside, and then it came back to me. So, I, and that, that wasn't the reason why I knew I was good with dogs, it's because I was always good with dogs. So, when I said that to you, you said, okay, then you do what you wanna do, because you didn't, or at least you told me you didn't, because you said you wanted to be an engineer, but you ended up being a doctor. And you said, if, dogs make you happy you do that but then you also said don't you know like if if your mom says something or your sister says something to keep the peace in the family and I'm sure you have said this with other people don't tell them that I agree with you just do it but you might not agree with me later <laughs> you know I mean you'll agree with me but while you're with mom or, or you know whoever you might not agree with it because you have to <laughs> you have to live with them and I understood that but that was the thing why until I was told to stop I had been really successful at doing it because you told me it was okay and um there was an incident way back when I was in high school. Um, I was in Trina Go's car with a bunch of Vietnamese guys, and you pulled up next to us in the Mercedes, and I hid as a joke. Oh, and Kyle, very important, Kyle was also there, because Kyle West thought he was Asian. So I hid behind a little column as a joke. I later found out you found that disrespectful because you ended up, somehow Kyle and you ended up downstairs in the living room with the orange sofas and you were yelling at him and then I was upstairs in my room and then I heard you say, and my son doesn't even respect me. And then Kyle, who I talked to once in a while because he was going out with Maria, anytime he would bring you or mom up, I go, you can't talk to me about mom and dad or my dad or mom because I don't know, now I'm going off on something else. I don't know if you remember when we went to this lawyer because you were signing off on some paperwork and then he started telling you to get out of the office. He was like really tall, big and everything. And it was the same thing. You can't talk, I mean, it probably looked really stupid because he was like six four, six five, and I'm like five seven. He was huge. 
but I stood up in front of him. I go, you can't fucking talk to my mother that way because he was talking to mom. So I just, I know I don't show it or, I, or I, you've never seen it, but there has always been, I always was amazed. Dad, with you, I was always amazed with how much you gave, you know? I mean, I work with homeless people now, and I work with rescue dogs, and I think if you weren't in my life, that would have not you know, occurred. Mom, you are very, <laughs> I mean, you are very, I, it's hard to say, okay, focused. So, when I actually do something, I mean, every single job I've ever had, I'm able to do, you know, that trait, I think I get from you. I'm also, I mean, you know, like, I don't ever think I'm wrong. So, and that's worked out for me really well. I really wish you both could see how I am here in Vegas because even though I don't have any money, car, anything, I mean, I know people, you know, they, they, they respect what I think and what I know. <laughs> I wasn't good in school, but you know, some people did go to college. <laughs> Mirna. <laughs> and I were just talking about a little joke earlier. But anyways, um, a lot of the good things of me come from you too. So, I know you guys wanted more from me as a son, as a brother. I can't figure out. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, I love all of you, even the ones I can't stand. Um, anyways, Dad, I love you so much. Thank you for everything that you've given me. You don't know how much I miss you. That, uh, the time you guys went to California, oh no, Maria went to California and we spent like two hours at a shopping mall. I don't know if you guys remember that. Maria picked me up. We went to like a Waffle House or something. I told her about me going to jail. She started crying. <laughs> she started crying. And then we went shopping at that place where all the stars go shopping, but of course none of them showed up. And then we went to eat. That was probably, since that time, the happiest I've been. Because Mom and I didn't fight. <laughs> Mom and I didn't fight. And uh, when I left, uh, you know, well, before I left, I told Mom, because Maria was walking with Dad, I said, I just miss home. But anyways, I'm trying to find it. This is the photo. I didn't take it, and it came out clear. <laughs> Maria took it. That's the three of us. Oh, my birthday. Um, and then this this photo is funny only because 
<laughs> dad. I don't know if you can see it. Dang it. Dad would. <laughs> dad wouldn't smile on the photo. We took like two or three of these photos. Dad wouldn't smile on the photo. So I ended up not smiling. Uh, you can't see it. Anyways. Oh, really quick. Remember when I lost my finger? Because the dog, the dogs. Uh, remember that? Let me turn this light off. Remember that? Whoops. That or that? Well, this is the finger now. It looks like an American finger. Real weird. Because I, I, you know, we have long fingers. Sorry, I didn't cut my nails or anything. But that's what it looks like now. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys I love you. And that's it. Dad, I love you. Fuck! Dad, I love you. Thank you for everything. Okay. I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, bye.